Hey, Anthony Tilly here, and welcome to episode 18 of the Solopreneur Show. Welcome to the Solopreneur Show with your host, Anthony Tilly. To get your hands on more great business training and advice, plus the chance to join our free Facebook group where you will see extended guest interviews, the opportunity of free one-to-one coaching and behind-the-scenes access to Anthony, go to www.thesolopreneurshow.com and join us today. And here's your host, the man himself, Mr. Anthony Tilly. Hey, Anthony here, and welcome to the show. It really is great to have you with me today. And it's episode 18, it's Monday, so of course it's Ask Anthony. Now, usually I actually, I like to record these on the Monday morning, the the day that they go out, but um, at the moment it's actually five past 10 on Friday evening. And the reason for that is, as I mentioned in the last show, we're actually off to, uh, we're off to Italy for the weekend to watch the the rugby, uh, plenty of Peroni beer to drink, and fingers crossed a Welsh victory. So uh, doing it a little bit early this uh, this week. What I wanted to talk about in in this episode, I I touched on it in last week's episode, and it's a question that I get asked a lot, and this is one of the reasons, the the real sort of main reason why I am structuring the show and starting to push the show towards the the area that I am. As I mentioned last week that I'm getting a lot of people, you know, sort of asking me about starting, starting a business, how to start a business. And when I first started the solopreneur show, it was very much, I wanted to to sort of, to, to just put stuff out there, put content out there and help as many people as possible. But as time's gone on, the questions that I've been getting on the whole have very much been around starting, how do I start, what do I do, how do I get this thing off the ground, what's a squeeze page, you know, what's an autoresponder, how do I set up funnels, etc. This this kind of thing. And the the key piece of advice that I give people. And I always have given people, but I'm giving it to them even more so now since changing my business model to that of the podcast from previously having a a solo ads business. And it's quite funny, you know, back when I was doing that and I would hear people keep on saying, you've just got to give out content, you've got to give lots of free stuff away. I remember back in Back in 2010, when I first heard this about, you know, giving stuff away for free, this was like, what? Give, give stuff away for free? Sorry, probably about 2008, something like that, rather than 2010. Because that's not what I did in, you know, in, in business in the outside world, what I was doing. You know, I was working in retail for a long time. You don't give stuff away for free, for the love of goodness. You know, that's, the <laughs> you know, the margins were tight enough as it was without giving stuff away for free. But obviously digital marketing, information marketing, etc., is completely different. So the idea is you give as much away as you possibly can because it builds that know, like, and trust factor. And actually, it's, it's interesting. You hear this quite a lot. I remember hearing this a lot, and you probably, probably have heard this, is you, know, you give a lot away for free because the thing is people start to think, well, if that's what he's giving away for free, how good is the stuff you've got to pay for? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not too sure about that. But actually, do you know what? It is true. You give away absolutely tons of value. You help people as much as you can. And it does build that know, like, and trust factor. And that really was the ethos behind the show, behind starting this show. And I wanted to interview people. I wanted to put great content out there. I wanted to create the Facebook group. Yes, I was building a list with it, but inside of that group, there is the extended shows, the full shows, et cetera, and there's help and guidance for people who who want it and who ask for it. And it really is a question of putting as much stuff out there as possible, hence the book. Now I launched the the book, the first five transcriptions, and it did very well. The Kindle version got to number one in France, number one in Australia, 
number three in the US, it got to number five in Canada, number seven in Germany, number nine in the UK in the in the free Kindle home-based business section, which is pretty competitive, you know, from, from what I understand, you know, that sort of home-based business entrepreneurship, etc., is pretty competitive. So to get to those kind of levels, I was really, really pleased. And, you know, that was all given away for free. It's all about building, um, you know, the relationship with people. It's all about helping you guys that are listening to this. So what I would say is, listen to these podcasts, as I've often said to students in the, in the past, you know, think like a marketer, not like a prospect. So when you're listening to these, it's a question of you know, the interviews as well. And when you're listening to the, to the interviews with the experts, etc., it's a question of thinking about not just the content of what we're doing here, what the show is, is doing and putting out. It's actually, why am I doing it? What's going on behind it? You'll see I've got the Facebook group. I've got an Instagram account. I've got a Twitter account. I've got a Facebook page. I've got a list as well that I email people with you know, when the shows come out, etc. It's all about putting as much content out there as possible. It's really about getting out there, repurposing the content as well. So for, for the show, for argument's sake, and excuse me, I keep on talking about the, the show, but this then is the example to give you for when, if you're starting a, an online business and you're creating content, you can repurpose your content in so many different ways. So with the podcast, I have it obviously as an audio and that's on iTunes and that's on Stitcher. But I also then as well, obviously have the video interviews and I do these pieces to, to camera. And I guess, you know, probably as a podcast itself, you'll listen to the audio, the, the audio on my podcast is perhaps not as great as it could be actually because I'm using this little sort of lapel mic here. Um, you may have heard a couple of times in previous shows when the sound was a little bit tinny. That's when I was using my podcaster mic, but it was actually just out of sight on the, on the, to, to my left here. So it made it a bit tinny. So that's why I've sort of come to, to this. So it may be that the quality of sound is perhaps not quite as good as it is on the interviews for argument's sake, where I'm sat at the desk, um, apart from the, the Robert Kiyosaki one, where I'm sat at the desk and you know, I'm, I'm right close to the, to the microphone. But obviously I'm aware that I'm also putting these out as videos as well. So the downloads of my podcast will probably not be as good as they potentially could be if you looked at the stats because I'm actually spreading myself out across the YouTube channel and across the blog, etc. I'm putting putting things on Facebook. So it, it it spreads it out. So in terms of the actual numbers, when you look at them you know, on their own, they they look sort of slightly diluted. But when you put them all together, you can see that I'm reaching a mass audience. But what I'm doing is, as I say, I have the, the podcast, have the audio. I have it in video format as well. And of course, then I'm leveraging it and turn it into a book, getting it transcribed, putting it into a book as well. And what I also did as well is I did an audio version of this. So I read the first few pages of this book and then just put together all of the interviews and that then became an audible book. You know, that's the, the sort of the, the version there. So there's, there's that as well. And then there's the, the membership as well, where in the VIP club, basically, You've got just the interviews. You've also got the full interview to download as well. And then there's also the additional training that I put in there as well to, to extract you know, extra little pieces out of the training. So I'm leveraging the content all the time and you can do the exact same thing. So I would suggest you know, when you're getting started, you've got to have a blog. You've got to have a blog, start blogging and start just putting your journey because people really, really like that. We live in a very social world. You know, a Hello Magazine and all this kind of thing and all these various different websites. And, you know, if you see in your, your Facebook feed, you know, there's some celebrity thing there or what's trending, you know, quite, I know I every now and again, I'll hover over the right hand side. There's just to see what it is that if I see somebody's name there with a, with a sort of a, a like, David Beckham, 27.3K talking about this. I'll have a little hover just to see what, what's being talked about. And that's, that's what we like. We like to, you know, to consume this kind of stuff. We like entertainment and that's the way that marketing is going. You know, the straight market, 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 hit your hard, hit your hard, hit your hard. Yeah, you know, it's, there's still a place for it clearly. But I think for those people who are starting out, 
it's a really great place to, to start actually by just trying to put out, spread the word, help people, bring them along on your journey. And of course, you know, if you have a passion, if you have a hobby of some description, of course, you're going to love writing about that. You know, if you're into golf or you're into guinea pigs or, um, you know, in the interview with, with Neil on, um, on last Thursday, if you haven't heard that, you really should because he really is the master of, you know, creating memberships from either your own skills or from somebody else's as well, leveraging somebody else's, you know, the membership site that he's got the, the junior soccer coaching. The, he's not the one that does the coaching, it's a friend of his. So, and it's all based around this other guy's skills. So there's no reason why you can't, uh, you know, sort of JV with somebody. To, to put this kind of thing out there. But if it's your passion and you enjoy writing about it, just start blogging about it. Sit in front of the camera, start talking, put the videos out there. You will soon start to build a following. Your Facebook page is free. Put the stuff on Facebook. Invite your friends to, to like it and just start putting, putting content out there because that really is a great way to start. You may remember I said actually in, in last week's episode, that for me personally, I think there's, there's three ways to, to start. And it's interesting that, that one of the ways that, that I'm going to mention when it comes to, you know, you hear a lot of sort of um, real marketers talk about this, you know, they, they poo poo very much, you know, network marketing and MLM and that kind of thing. You know, they, they see it as, as being dirty and it's, it's all a big scam, etc. And it's interesting when from talking to Robert Kiyosaki and, and researching and doing more and you know sort of reading his books and his videos, etc. Something that, that he was a great advocate of as well, starting you know with a with a network business. And it's actually if you can find a good company that is either you know a network you know that or has things that's done for you like Internet Profits Limited, for example, say Dean Holland's uh, program that uh, you know we interviewed Dean back um, I think it was show eight. And, uh, you know, just a really great guy, really great interview. And that's a whole done for you program that you can actually go in. It's not that you're, that you're just selling somebody in so they can sell somebody else so they can sell somebody else. It's not that, you know, it's not a, it's not a multi-level program. And it's basically a really great training program. It's a really awesome training, you know, marketing and um, trust-based marketing and Facebook and Twitter and traffic and affiliate marketing, a whole huge range of amazing stuff in there. And then you also get to promote it and make a high ticket sale as well. So that's a really, that is a really great way to start. You're actually leveraging somebody else's content. You are actually going to be promoting something that's high ticket and you're getting awesome training as well at the same time. The, the second way then I would say is to use your own skill, you know, is use your own passion and whatever it happens to be, check that there's a market for it and pretty much most things, you know, if you're spending money on something and you're interested in it, the chances are, you know, there's, there's going to be a good number of people out there that are doing the same thing and just start a small blog, just start writing, just start sharing. And, you know, you, if you're in forums that are related to that particular topic, you know, you just start giving and the chance that if it is a hobby or a passion, you may well already be doing this already in these forums and actually sharing great content. Or, as I said, alternatively, if you feel that you, know, you don't particularly perhaps have a passion or a skill, you become a student of marketing, a student of copywriting and following people like Ryan Dice, Russell Brunson, these kind of guys, you know, and Frank Kearney, you know, who are all awesome marketers. And they really share a huge amount of free content to, to help. And then basically, you know, you're going to start to learn how to market, how to sell yourself, learn, learn words that sell, etc. Learn how funnels work. You know, Russell Brunson's Click Funnels is absolutely superb. Russell always puts out a huge amount of great, great content. You know, he's got a great podcast as well, Marketing in Your Car. And you know, you put that kind of stuff out there. Um, and and sorry, they, these guys put this kind of stuff out there, and you consume it, and you learn and become a marketer. That then allows you to go out and work with other people who have a passion. So they may not have that marketing skill. So if you remember back uh, in episode three 
um, sorry, I tell I episode four. It was the third interview, and it's in the it's in the book. Um, Rob J. Temple. You know, Rob talks about the fact that he knew somebody who was a hypnotist and had all these DVDs. And basically they JV'd because this guy didn't know how to put stuff online, you know, that kind of thing. They, they JV'd and then Rob did the marketing side of things. So, you know, you can become you know, the, 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 the power behind the throne, if you like. You know, you're the person who's driving the marketing behind it. And even though what I'm doing here, you know, I'm, I'm the one in front of the camera and I'm the one doing the marketing, I'm the one doing the talking, I'm the voice of the solopreneur show. Um, I work with quite a few other marketers, you know, big marketers in different niches and coaches, that kind of thing. And I help them with their marketing and with their sales funnels and with their webinars and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm doing, you know, I'm doing, you know, I, I, I'm practicing what I preach here, you know, so I'm, I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing, doing both. And I've got to say, actually, I'm a member of Internet Profits Limited as well, because I think it's so awesome uh, what they've got going on there. Dean's a very good friend. So, you know, I promote that as well. So all three that I've talked about here, which are three great ways to start in, in business, I do all of them or I'm involved, you know, I'm involved in all of them in some way, shape or form. And that's very much the ethos that I've always had with my market, sorry, with my coaching is that I will coach people what I'm doing within my business. So as I say, if you are looking for a way to get started, I really, really highly recommend, first and foremost, if you're listening to this at the Solopreneur Show page, you're going to see, um, if we're on the video, you're going to see just over here a banner where you can opt in and get a load of free gifts, but you also get the opportunity to join the VIP club as well and get into the Facebook groups. So there's gonna be a whole load of training and extra bit and pieces in this. That's so a really great sort of first rung on the ladder for you. And, you know, start learning about marketing, start learning, uh, you know, about sort of positioning, etc., trust-based marketing and words that sell and just, you know, really, you know, immerse yourself in it. There's some book resources in there that I recommend, etc. So, Come in, become a student of marketing first and foremost, and then you can see where you want to, to go from there. You take that next level with something like Internet Profits Limited, which you know, go to the, to the next level with all of the great training they've got in there and products that you can promote. Or alternatively, you think, you know what, you know, I've got this passion. I'm into golf. I love my golf. Right, okay, I'm going to start writing about it. I'm going to start doing videos to help people with their putting or with their long game, with their short game, etc. And again, you know, very, very simple getting books like this made, getting things transcribed and getting them sort of put, put together. So the key thing is, is taking action, is taking that step, getting yourself out there and doing it. Stand up and stand out. Okay, so... What does it say as well? You know, if you if you're listening to this, uh, if you got this, watch this video on YouTube. What I'll do is make sure there's a there's a link somewhere here, perhaps down below in the comments, where you can go, and you can opt in again so you can get access to the VIP club, or you know wherever you're listening to this, you know there will be a link not far away. If you're on the podcast, if you're on Stitcher, go to the solopreneurshow.com, and you'll be able to uh, you know be able to to see the buttons there where you can join and get in, start immersing yourself. And you know, in any way, shape or form that I can help, I most certainly will. All right. So that said, hope you enjoyed this week's show. And as I say, it's, it's, it's really these kind of things now are going to be about helping people to get started and, and taking sort of the, the next steps, etc. And again, you know, please you know, keep your questions coming in and I will answer them in any way, shape or form that I can. And of course, on a Thursday, we always have the, uh, the expert interviews. And I've got some great guys coming up over the next few weeks as well. Well, that said... As I say, right now, uh, at this moment, it's now 25 past 10 here in the UK, so I'm going to be wrapping up for the night and getting ready to, uh, to catch a flight from Heathrow to, uh, to Italy to go and drink plenty of beer and eat plenty of pasta and watch the rugby. And um, hopefully, by the time you're seeing this, hopefully Wales would have had a, would have had a victory. All right, so um, you take care. I will see you on Thursday, and uh, have a great week. Cheers. Bye now. To get your 
your hands on more great business training and advice, plus the chance to join our free Facebook group where you will see extended guest interviews, the opportunity of free one-to-one coaching and behind-the-scenes access to Anthony, go to www.thesolopreneurshow.com and join us today.